What's up, douches? I signed up for some free Linux courses from the Open Security, Open Source Security Framework Foundation, or whatever it's called, the OSS. I heard of them as the OSSPF, the Open Source Security Pen Testing Framework. They have like open source security other frameworks and they have some for like security coding and they're free. So I figured I would take, them. I can afford free right now. So I figured I would take them. Um, Still just waiting and play Final Fantasy. I had like a whole thing I wanted to talk about, now I forgot. Or if we need, I don't want to talk about it. Like, look, Miss Medvin lady, I'm not specifically even asking you specifically to be my lawyer. I don't know what kind of a lawyer it would require to hold that stupid whore accountable and sue her and everyone she knows. So I figured you would know who can do that because last time you helped me find a lawyer and you got like a fee out of it. So, I mean, the damages are at least $1.4 million. So I'm sure you get a fee out of that if you help me find a lawyer. I didn't mean anything by all that bullshit. I was just kind of goofing around because to me, I think it's all silly. Because I think people use all that bullshit just to hide things in their life that they didn't want to work on. Anyways. So my dog used to do my dog my beagle we had when we were kids we would give him cheese and cream cheese all the time like like he loved cream cheese and bagels and egg sandwiches and he would always do that he would always get the cream cheese st stuck on the top of his mouth and he would go like that all the time well, that was good. That, that was the days. It was floppy ears. All right. We didn't have an extra child. We didn't have a fifth child. We had a dog. I'm never going to forget that. I 100% think me and my sister were not dogs by like the hairs on our chinny chin chin because inflation hadn't hit that bad yet. And then once inflation started hitting, instead of having kids, people started having dogs. So. I don't care whatever she's doing. She's like posting on Facebook and all that bullshit now. Trying to get me to go back on Facebook. I'm, I'm not going to. I guarantee you. <clears throat> Poor for you is posting on Facebook because none of this is about me. What it's really about is she wants attention because I talked to some e-thoughts on Facebook. I'm not on Facebook because my brother started bothering me. It's that simple. I love him from a distance. I don't want to be bothered. There's like some weird dynamic in my family where like the first two count, I'm supposed to just be reverent and be there and not get in anyone's way, and then my sister can do whatever she wants. I don't, I don't like it. The fact that because Horfney stole my money, 
I'm more than likely going to have to ask my family for help. I'm not happy about any of that. If I even get help. All because she stole a bunch of money. Now, if Horfordy wants attention on Facebook, what she's going to have to do is essentially be part of a foreign scheme to defraud Americans, and then you will get the Michael from from uh, the Rhapsody book. Michael, the obsessed fjord demon. Uh, it's like a way of hurting stupid e-thoughts into making bad decisions. And because I'm a guy, and I realized that women are stupid a long time ago, like, on their own, they're actually very smart. Like, if you can find one, in my opinion, who, like, can, can like, control her emotions, they make great project managers. They make great, like, you know, like, if, if they're not going to use the job boards as their own personal dating application, they make pretty good HR managers. The ones who are happily married and have their own kids. The ones who aren't going to be like, you're my work son. Hey, do you want to bang me after the, after the party? That's why I stop. That's why I don't want to go to any, like any work part. I, I just don't go. That's why I, that's also why I prefer remote. I used to like going into the office. It was like free food and all that bullshit. But I, I have a preference for remote because that way people can try to project all their weird fantasies onto me, you know, because although there's all this weird shit where women watch all this crazy bullshit where they're like, oh, there's that show I watched where the boss babe got the guy she likes, so I'm going to go be a boss babe and try to inject myself into your life and ruin everything you have going on because I saw a TV show that told me I should do that. Fucking retarded. I've got a little bit of silver left, and I have to pay my silver loan today, so I'm basically going to go get a loan against that and see what I have after that and just hope that I get a start date soon so bullshit even that is bullshit even that is bullshit guarantee you that I'm even having paperwork issues because when I left for Korea one of those ladies got pissy that I didn't want to put up with their bullshit anyways so like in 2018 in 2017, did a bunch of Canadian e-thoughts and a bunch of Canadians who were being funded by um, um, deep state assets and Mossad agents. Did they come to my backyard, essentially, and try to overthrow my government? Yes, they did. It was called the Charlottesville bullshittery thingamajiggy with those tor I didn't hold any torches. I was hanging out in the back, making sure everyone wasn't trying to commit felonies, and when they were, I went up and started stopping them. Thank you very much. No one even appreciated it, but I got some some bullshit off my record over it, so I started getting high-paying jobs. I don't really give a shit. I had a high, I had what I thought was a high-paying job at the time, and then I got raises for the shit I was doing, and I was super happy. Um, I'm not. I, I I'm done with Horfany. Like enough time has passed to where whatever novelty she had has worn off. The fact that I know that, like, the only reason I was talking to any of those douches, like, yeah, the the Witches Coven ma magazine is a bunch of hot bitches. They're they're literally models. That's all I give a fuck about them. I think I would fuck all of them. I just think they're stupid as shit and annoying. But if they would shut their mouths, if they were naked, I would fuck them. I would fuck them and enjoy it the whole time. That little teeny alien bitch. Wow, I've had a boner for her for a few years. She has massive tits. I don't want to talk to them all day. I think Tiffany's a lesbian because she acts like she was like basically treating me like the way you would treat a girl. She thought she had to provide for me. She thought I gave a fuck about her job. She probably like probably because like she told me that she was done and ready to retire after forever one. And then she started like asking me what I do and all that bullshit. And she probably felt like I was too successful and she had to compete with me. So she stole money to try to do some bullshit that basically ended anything that would have happened before it started. Because I don't need a smut actress. You can never go back in time and not do a smut scene. You're done. I don't need a smut actress. You chose smut over anything you told me because you thought you had to compete with me because you're a boss babe. 
you're retarded. You're retarded. I don't even feel like using AI to do it. Maybe I will. Just to make it... I won't do the switch screens. Explain again how using the character Michael from Rhapsody can be used in social engineering to get information about girls being used by for and governments to infiltrate America and how it can be countered using counter intel and uh, the character class of Michael the Fjord from the Rhapsody series. I will say this. Um, I think I might have had him confused with someone else. Like I, I, this is like something in like 2007. I don't even. I didn't even really buy one of the things. I downloaded like a free ebook, and one of my friends bought one of like the courses. And it's the shit that eventually ended up becoming like the Tate bullshit. But there was some dude who. He, he didn't end up dying. I could think someone else ended up dying, but there was some dude who like sold himself as being like the king of getting women to approach him, and he was good at like s s smashing poon as a re regular dude. One of the like I didn't buy any of his courses. I like I downloaded a free ebook in like 2007. <clears throat> One of my buddies bought his courses and then tried to do like you know like long form marketing but he was like doing it about world of warcraft he was like i want to quit my job and make blogs about how to make all the all the mats mining for 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 warcraft and i'll quit my job and i'll have all the people who work give me their money and i'll tell them things like on your work break you go home and just farm mats and shit like that and i was like that's why i didn't buy anything i just downloaded the free ebook but in the free ebook, he said something like, why do you think they make women fantasy books? For men or for women? And I was like, well, wouldn't also, it's a book, so wouldn't also some men, well, they would have to appeal to like men on some level for those books, right? Wrong! All that bullshit is fantasy bullshit that appeals to women. So if you want to know how women think, read women fantasy books, and then act like that, and you'll get a lot of poon. And I was like, no way. It can't be that easy. So I was like, okay, well, let me read this series called Rhapsody. It's written by a woman for women, and it makes absolutely no sense. Like, the opening, opening of the book is like, her son from like 10,000 years in the future, who's a time lord, has to send her back a thousand years in the past so she can meet her her eventual husband. And they have like a magical night together. But then she, she goes into the future, but not like the full future. And then she all these bad things happen to her. And this evil guy just abuses her nonstop and she hates it. But it becomes a part of her life. And then she eventually runs away. Rape fantasy and all that bullshit. I'm not a whore. You turned me into one against my will. All that bullshit. Women secretly want to be a whore. So, and then he said, if you want to, um, he didn't say go read Rhapsody. He said, if you find a, a woman's fantasy novel and act like the, the protagonist, the hero dude in that book, you'll get a lot of poon. And the hero in that book was a guy named Ash. Who was like the mysterious? He was the mysterious, the mysterious wanderer, and he didn't talk to anyone, and and he didn't bother anyone, and anyone who tried to fuck with him got their asses kicked. And he helped out Rhapsody one time, and he let her get away with some bullshit just because he was being nice. But she can't understand why she keeps thinking about him, and even though she likes him, he puts the move on her, and 
on her and she's like, no, no, my past of being a whore is affecting my ability to bond with people. And he doesn't give a shit. He just goes about wandering and she likes him even more. And then one day she throws himself at her. She throws herself at him. She finds out that he's, he's secretly a prince of the faraway kingdom of dragons. He's a dragon human prince, but he hates his being a prince. And he hates his family because they don't get him. And he's just brooding about how no one gets him. And he wanders the world being a hidden prince and solving all of the world's problems for no reward because that's what princes do. Ha ha ha. And she's like, no way. The wandering mysterious guy I like is really a prince and a dragon. So somehow I was like, I need to start doing shit like that because like, even like, um, Rhapsody has a younger apprentice and she's obsessed with him and she ends up throwing herself at him. And he's like, I'm begging both of them for a little bit. Um, um, yeah, so like in 2007, I read that book and I was like, no way. If I act like that, I'll get a bunch of poon and it totally worked. Like that's why Pi, the, the half Korean, half black sister, who was a... Sh sugar baby i guarantee you that's why she was paying all of my bills because i would treat her like ash I would, I would i would treat i would i would be i'll give her the mysterious aloof brooding can handle anything but you have to make it worth his while kind of kind of dude no if if you can tell someone is up to something and you want to stop it when you want to bring attention to it then you would use a social engineering technique of being Michael the Fjord. And again, I didn't I didn't like see Tiffany and say, Wow, a hot Asian bitch, it's time to go into into Ash from Rhapsody mode. No, since two thousand and seven I figured that that shit would work. That over like every day I would like be a little bit more ash, be a little bit more ash, be a little bit more ash. That after like ten years, fourteen years, it just became part of what I do without even thinking. So that's, that's why she's obsessed with me, but, um, <clears throat> this is a chat GPT. So that way I don't have to, um, take any responsibility for anything. Using the character Michael from the Rhapsody series, known for his charm, ambiguity, and ability to gather sensitive information. Can, not, not, I, no, no, Michael doesn't have ambiguity and charm. No. Are you sure? Conservatives cons no. Michael or Michael de Fjord is often portrayed as an enigmatic and persuasive, capable of navigating complex interpersonal dynamics in a social engineering context. These characteristics would be manipulative char charisma, leveraging trust, charm, and emotional connections to elicit information, identity fluidity, the ability to shape one's persona based on the target's expectations, perceived innocence or expertise, target lowers their offenses, assuming Michael's goals are being aligned with their interests. Tactics. You so, so if they're using women for foreign intelligence operations, you can use corporate espionage, extracting intellectual property or business. This isn't, no, Michael LaFord. Look, look up. Look up Michael LaFord. Ford. This is, I don't want to do it. So what Michael does, Michael is like obsessed with Rhapsody. Obsessed. Like, like, he he'll like capture Rhapsody and then ravage her and then pass her around to all of his men to have their fun with her and then he'll get so obsessed and so jealous that even though he gave her to her to his men to use as they wish he then slays them for touching her because she belongs to him and all that bullshit so the entire time she's like he must really like me even though I'm scared oh my god what do I do and the entire time it's just like a brain fuck to like get information so if a bunch of Mossad losers are gonna get a bunch of Canadian e thoughts who are basically broke and desperate and basically retarded. Like I think they're like like Stephan Tiffany from Girls Generation might be more retarded because like she dropped out of school at like eleven to sing and dance and do all that bullshit. I'm now I'm I'm not sure like is is like a, is like an American is American public school drop drop out of like 
14, 15 years of age, the equivalent of like a Canadian public school graduate? I don't know. Probably similar. But um, no, if, if, if they're going to use e-thoughts as agents to try to bring down the United States, I'm going to use um, allegedly uh, the, the tactics of Michael the Fjord to counter it. And there's nothing illegal with that. As a matter of fact, they're the ones who are doing illegal shit. They're Canadians who came to America and tried to use propaganda to over... Don't believe me? They got summoned to Parliament about it. <clears throat> so what laws did I... I broke zero laws. As a matter of fact, I helped the law by doing that. I helped enforce the law by being Michael the Fjord. And it's not illegal to be Ash the... Whatever the fuck. Ash the Mysterious Wandering Dragon Prince. It's not illegal to do that. By doing that, they will project all of their bullshit onto you and you will get ladies here. The issue is, Horfany is retarded. And instead of like, all she had to do was get fucked, cook and clean. And she could have done whatever the fuck she wanted to other than smut. Instead, she stole the money, did the smut, and is demanding that like, no, it's just art. You can't tell me what's art. You can't tell me what laws you broke or not. You can't tell me if my rights have been violated or not. Okay, That's violating my rights. You stole. You stole from me and my family. You pimped yourself out. You bragged about it. You offered me a bribe. And now that everyone's arrested and in jail, now you're sorry. I don't fucking believe you. I think you belong in jail too.